Piano solo there, tickling the ivories on them. Tickling the ivories on the piano. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, got some stories here for you for this coffee break segment. How about this? The new Spider-Man animated Spider-Verse movie has fans all out, going all out for a world record at a mall in Malaysia. Oh, Check out this video. Okay. A total of 685 people gathered while dressed in costume of the uh, Spider-Man there for various versions of Spider-Man. It's the largest group of folks wearing Spider-Man outfits in one place. A Guinness World Records official was on hand to verify that count and ensure that each participant spent at least five minutes there. The previous world record was a 601. So they broke this record by 84 people. That was set at an event in India in December of 2021. You would think. Wow. So India previously held the record. Now Malaysia has it. You would think New York would have a better showing. Uh, you know, which is where Spider-Man was based around. Yeah. You Come think on. Maybe they're just tired of it. They say. Well, Could you be. Know, we have Spider-Man right all the time. Yeah, but we are always Spider-Man. Spider-Man is within us all, all the time. <laughs> is maybe how they think in New York there. All right, our next story. It comes from overseas, where a man caught a monster catfish in the waters of Italy's longest river, and he's got the picture to prove it. Take a look. Alessandro Biancardi says he couldn't believe his eyes when he finally reeled in this massive catfish. Oh my gosh. Took him 40 minutes to reel this sucker in. That fish is over six feet long. And after all photos and measurements were taken, he released it back into the river. Now, you know. Wow. Uh, maybe it's a little barbaric of me to be thinking this, but I'd have you know, been able to serve up dinner for... You have a pretty big fish fry. Yeah. The nearby whole, village or something? The whole family reunion. Would be, uh, that's, that's what we used to do. It was a fish fry for the family reunion. Sure. For the Inmans, but... Um, Did you ever watch that show? That kind of reminds me of that River Monster show. I've heard of it, for it sure. on Animal clips. Planet or Discovery, one of those two. Mm -hmm. He had some giant fish on there, too. Oh, man. That reminds me of one of his catches. Yeah, I mean, it took me, like, 10 minutes to reel in a, a trout last year at uh, <laughs> uh, um, Taney Como. With it's just the, that's the practice Lake, for the big one. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, just getting, getting ready for the, for the big leagues there. Finally here, some new research may have come up with a process that can make your bottle of wine smell better. Sometimes you'll find a bottle of wine with maybe an unpleasant aroma. It can smell like rotten eggs, rubber, canned corn, something like that. What kind of wine are they talking about? Yeah, I, I don't know. When I, when I saw this story, I, I, you know, I guess some people just maybe have some really old wine, that is. Could be, could be in that type of a bottle. But what that means is your wine has too many sulfuric compounds in it. Sulfuric, whatever the word is. Tom, you're the scientist here. Researchers, right. yeah, researchers in Australia have come up with, an adding, uh, with adding gold nanoparticles to get rid of that sulfur in an eco-friendly way. Now, that doesn't mean add your own gold to a bottle of wine here. The process is still in its early stages, and they say it's a complicated one. But they're trying to reduce the smelliness of wine. But isn't that kind of part of drinking wine? I kind of like the smell you of know? wine, yeah. Like you, you take the cup and, you know, you, you smell the rose, as they say. So that's kind of the process. Yeah half the fun right there, know. you know? Well, coming up next, we'll be talking about a story out of Branson, an historic moment this week, remembering the children on the Titanic. You'll hear from a survivor's daughter and see some special artifacts that she's giving to the Titanic Museum in Branson. And over three decades without answers. We're taking a look back at one of Springfield's cold cases that has stumped investigators for years. Today, the anniversary, of the three missing women, the Springfield Three. More on that coming up.